What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another draft video after yesterday's absolute debacle. Thanks to EA. Let's go for the 4 3 2 1 2. We are going to do another gameplay draft today, okay, guys? And we're going to try and take once again all of the Golasso players that we see, including Team One, if they show up. We'll start with Clint Dempsey in there at Cam. Yeah, yesterday's draft was so cool. It was so fun. It took us three attempts to build it as well. And then we got absolutely done over by EA in that second round. But we are back now and it is going to be better. Hopefully, well, that is a phenomenal first start, isn't it? Didier Drogba, four-star, five-star, high, high work rates. He's got the Catalyst Chem Star, which is actually quite perfect for his card. Engine would probably be a little bit better, but it gives him top pace, great shooting, very good passing, good dribbling, very good physicals, and he's got Aerial Plus, and I'm going to try and abuse that like crazy. Striker, number two. Samiro. Four star, five star. Decent stats on Casemiro. I think I'm going to go over Kunku. Five star, four star. Nope, I'm going to go with Casemiro. I'm going to put him up there. Why not? If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And with that, guys, let's get this midfield. Midfielder number one is going to be useless. I don't really care about any of these. I think I'll go with Leon Goretzka. Um, I don't even know why. Like, they're all terrible choices, weren't they? Midfielder number two, we've got Kalhan Oglu that I like. Kim Little is very, very good. Three-star, four-star. Great dribbling. Very good passing. Very good play styles. Bon Matty is very good, but obviously has a team of the year. This Kalhan Oglu, I think I really like. Four-star, four-star. Cracking, shooting, passing, dribbling. Good physicals, good defending, good pace, great play styles for his position. We're going to take him on a basic chem style as well. It's quite nice. Midfielder number two, we've got Bruno Fernandes or Ice Rodri on an engine. Four star, four star. Yeah, I do like this, Rodri. I do like this Bruno Fernandes actually as well. Again, really good shooting, passing and dribbling stats. Four star, three star. Let's take that Ice Rodri. In he goes. Obviously, the ice card as well. Great for chemistry. Bruno Fernandez would have been great for chemistry for Casemiro, But it's okay. In at right back, we will take Brian Laudrop. Get a few more icons in here just to get a little bit more chemistry on these uh, kind of misfits that we've got going in the team. And our first centre-back is going to be... Damn. Bastoni. Like... Marquinhos is the logical choice, in my opinion. He also gets up to two chem. One from the Icons, one from the Brazilian. He's only 3-3, but he's got great stats, great play styles. But Bastoni... He's also got an anchor chem style, gets the interlink to Kalhanoglu. And he's actually very good. I'm going, you know what? I'm going to go Bastoni. Why not? Why not? We would never normally take a Bastoni, so let's take him this time around. Centre-back number two will be Komen. A bit slow, man, but on an anchor, he does all right. And then in at left back, we have got Colasso Roberto Carlos. That's more like it. That is three chemistry on basically everyone now as well. We had Roberto Carlos in that last draft that kind of didn't work out so well. And now we've got him again. And we'll also put Yashi in goal. That's a good draft. If we could get one more cracking midfielder, and then just any elite players after that would be really, really nice. This draft could be absolutely banging. We will take Thunderstruck Casillas. I actually think I'd prefer him uh, in goal right there. And then our first defender is going to be... I actually don't mind not getting good defenders because the defense is good. The only thing I could really use is potentially a, a, a quicker centre-back instead of Komen. Doesn't look like we're going to get that. So Lamptey and Zappa Costa can go onto the bench. Here's our midfield. EA, bless us. Nope. You have not. We'll take uh, Eze there. Could probably still do a job. Only four star, three star. With perfect passing. Tiki Taka plus decent play styles. He's a bit stinky, isn't he? He's a bit stinky. 
Next up. All right, yeah. What is going on here? Come on. Give me something worthwhile. Okay, good. We've got either Francesco Lee, who I do like the look of, or Rude Hullet, who I love the look of. And we'll go into that centre midfield spot over Leon Goretzka. And kind of makes this team a lot, lot more menacing. Next up, we have got Tomori, Jonathan David. If that was his special version for birthday, I'd take it. O'Reilly, he's okay. Uh, see, I like them. Unless I get like a super midfielder, Rodri and Kalhanoglu are going to stay. We've got Jamal Musiala. Can go in at Cam. But I want that Clint Dempsey anyway. We've got Matthews Cunha, who can go at striker and might be a little bit more enjoyable than Casemiro. Six foot tall, four star, four star. Catalyst chem style with good shooting, good dribbling, reasonable physicals, decent play styles too. We could go to Tomori, but he's only got CDM, so we can't get him into the team anyway. I'm going to take this Matthews Cunha, and I actually think I'm going to start him over uh, over Casemiro. In fact, if you look at their stats, they've got the same pace, the same shooting, the same defending, and then Matthews has three more physical, four more dribbling, and six more passing. The only thing Casemiro has is a uh, four-star, five-star instead of four-star, four-star, so that is a a very nice dub overall. Five picks to go, and I'm expecting... Yes, thank you very much, EA. I'm expecting big cards like this. Now, Matthews Cunha is out of the draft again. It was very short-lived for him, wasn't it? But he was out as quick as he was in. We've now got four of the Galasso cards. And with how bad my bench looks, I genuinely expect four bangers from these last four slots. Lamkelze. We've got Goosens, Jonathan Klaus... Jonathan Close. That was on a shadow, you know. I actually quite like. Nobody else interests me too much. Do we lose Ken with him? One. Who is it? It is him. Keep loud drop. Keep loud drop. I don't really like loud drop's chem style. But uh, uh like yeah, we'll keep we'll keep loud drop in there. Come on, NEA. One more one more beast, please. 92 birthday Sanchez. He's actually not going to get into the team, believe it or not. He'll be a good super sub should we need him, though. We've got uh, the four-star, five-star version. Great dribbling. Great pace. Good passing. Good shooting. Very, very good play styles on uh, Sanchez as well. I like that a lot. Two more picks to go here. Oh. Oh. Well, there is the player that we pop in instead of loud drop. It is the, the only, guys, the only thing that I look at with this draft and think, oof, this could be not the best, is how slow these centre-backs are. Bastoni's okay, generally speaking, especially because he's lengthy, but Ronald Koeman, he's controlled lengthy, but just not super fast. Defensively brilliant, physically brilliant, play style's okay. But if we could get another centre-back here, EA, it would be very nice. We cannot. And so, that is the draft, guys. Do you know what? I really like this draft. It's it's a very, very good team. There's a few little issues here and there, but I think that front line is phenomenal. Roberto Carlos and Hullet obviously make up uh, some big improvements. Frimpong and Casillas are great. I think this is a really good team. Let's get into the gameplay and hopefully do very well with it. All right, guys. Into round one we go. And as we see this guy's team... He also had a guess. Bit of an interesting one. Sometimes, oh, oh my days. All right, that is an insane team with a terrible goalkeeper. Sometimes players with a guess are good. Sometimes players with a guess are bad. I guess we're going to find out. If I, if I have these two second round exits because the game is dumb and then have a first round exit because I lose, I'm actually just going to be sad. Rogba on his first shot. Oh, Rogba on his first shot, guys. Bags that. Green timed across the keeper. Lovely. Talanolu. What we like to see, baby. Rogba, up you go. Oh, try to use that power header. Maybe I should have just whipped the cross anyway. There's Drogs. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. The whip pass from Frimpong into Didier Drogba. And Didier Drogba makes it 2-0. Yep. 
and then into drugs. Then across, and then across, and then across. Then in the back of the net, and that's just great FIFA. FC24. FC24. Not a bad half, guys. Not a bad half. 3 0 up. Got these guys' number, to be fair. They're, they're not uh, too good um, in complete control. But let's see how the second one goes. Oh, yeah. Dempsey. Bang. It's four. Let's go. That is going to be the end of the game. 3 0 wasn't enough. 4 0 was. I will see you guys in the second round. All right, guys. Round two. We are up against open goal. Decent back line. Very good midfield. Very good attack. Two team of the years in there. Let's see how we play. Oh, then. Bang. Alan Olu makes it 1 0. What's he going to sub out? Probably going to sub out. One of those midfielders, I'd say. He brought on, looks like De Bruyne. Oh, no, he brought on Beckham. Oh, why wouldn't you just start Beckham? That's poor. I should I just, should just be 2-0 up. About three times. It's, it's really good play for me all the way until the shot. Yeah, sweaty goals. Sweaty goals. I can't believe I didn't score that straight away. I pressed shoot, but Drogba just didn't. Drogba just didn't. Once I get the ball in the box, I just gotta I just gotta slow down a little bit. A little bit. Because this guy is just looking for the blocks. And that makes it really easy for me to be able to just that tackle. Let's go. Yeah, it makes it really easy for me to just sidestep and and then shoot right. There we go. Much better. Just a little bit more patience in the box is all I needed. A little bit more patience. That's it, Bosh. And this guy's got off the back of that, guys. I will see you in the semi-final. Let's go. All right, guys. Into the semi-final we go. And guess what? You've got it. We're up against another duo. That's right. We're up against FC Goat. A, a, a high amount of duos coming in today. But here we go. What have they got for a team? A nice team. That 96 Pushkas, the Cole, the Jabby Alonso, Vieira's a beast. Carlos Alberto's a beast. It's a very nice team. But let's see how we play against these guys and see if we can keep up our good form. Okay, so they're actually both running towards me. Yeah. They got lucky there to get the ball back, but both of them pressed the ball carrier there, which should, should make this a nice and easy game to score goals in. But scoring goals is one thing. Not conceding goals is another Well, I thought I defended that well, but I guess not. Never mind. There's the ball. Come on. There we go. Come on. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. There we go. Lovely. Much nicer for me going forwards. Drogba. Let's go, baby. Come on. Beautiful goal. Much nicer. Much nicer. Tackling me from behind two times. That man's crazy. Where, sorry, where is Bastoni going? What a save, Casillas. I, I, I need somebody to explain to me where Bastoni was running to there. And how has he managed to get that luck? After tackling twice from behind as well. And never mind, never mind. Come on, focus up. Let's go, Drogs. Mm, give me that power shot, five star weak foot, baby. Come on. Go on, Drogs. Another one. Another one. 93rd minute, 4 2. Game over. Big dubs. That really is game over. So, Didier Drogba came up massive for us there. Big clutch. We've beat two duos on our way to the final. We are into the final, which, of course, is very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, if the, if it will let me, like, don't kick, I swear to God. I swear to God, don't kick me out, thank you. I will see you guys in the final. All right, guys, this is the last game for today. We are up against, I, mean, I can't even begin to read that. Um, got the Barcelona badge, Donnarumma, Van Dijk, Messi, Cruyff, Neymar, Vieira, Zidane. 
Maldini, Van Dijk, the core of his team. He's got one bad bad midfielder. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't sub him out. And then his fullbacks aren't necessarily stellar. But, I mean, that draft is about as meta as it gets, isn't it? On drugs. Go on, drugs. Off the jump, baby. That left foot again, man. The five-star weak foot. There it is. There it is. He moved his keeper just a little bit. And we took advantage. Just a little bit. Oh, he's born Ronaldo. Interesting. Oh, should not be conceding goals like that, man. There we go. Lovely. Lovely FIFA there for FC24. FC24. Griff. Lovely jubbly. 4-1. Come on. Mate, this Drogba is insane. Insane. Obviously, it helps that he's got the, the frimp on whip pass, like, hooking him in. But he's insane. He's got so lucky to get that, hasn't he? So lucky. Oh, game on again. This guy is so sweaty, man. He's got a little stamina, though. He's been on constant press, so I'm hoping second half, like, you know, second half of the second half. Should be uh, quite beneficial for us, to be fair. There we go. Dempsey. <gasps> what have I just witnessed? If this guy makes it 5-4 now, I'm going to be fuming. And he is as well. What a save, Casillas. I can't believe Dempsey has missed that sitter. Absolute sitter. He's got this uh, back post corner technique going on now, isn't he? Yep. All the way back post is there. Bang. Let's go, baby. Oh, had to sway out a little bit in the end here, guys. This guy's uh, a good player and he's got back into the game at 5-3. Five, uh, five, and uh, I need to just turn it on a little bit to make sure we close this one, close this one out. Not want to end up losing this one after being 5-1 up. Uh, I would find it hard to lose from here now, to be fair. But hitting me with skill move, cancel passes and all sorts. And that, guys, is full time. So we get a big 6-3 win in the final. I tell you what, guys, this draft was great. Great. And uh, it was enjoyable to play. Roberto Carlos is very good. I haven't liked a few of his versions this year, but Roberto Carlos is very good. Of course, Rude Hullet is amazing. I really enjoyed Bastoni. He was better than I thought he was going to be. But this man right here, insane. Like, I don't know how much he costs right now, but he was the star of the show by a long, long way. We get ourselves a final victory, which gives us the two gold packs, the two premium gold players packs. Not the best, uh, especially these days with the way gold cards are effectively worthless. Like, we, like we'll like we make a good amount of coins just from the sheer volume of, uh, of cards. Um, you know, we're going to get like about 30 to 35 players altogether, um, which is nice, of course. But, you know, it's going to leave us like about break even unless we hit a special card. And these packs, we just, people just... EA, man, people just would love you to just update draft rewards. It can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. Or worst case scenario, put a draft milestone slash objective in that repeats every day. You know, just make it, even for untradables and stuff, just make it worthwhile for the people that uh, the people that play your game in this game mode. But guys, that is going to be it for today. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.